Hi friends, what's up? It's your boy Skinny Penis, and today we're going to talk about Warframe. That's right, Warframe. The illest game I have ever played. Now let me let me start off with a couple things here. This channel is not meant to be like Warframe builds. I'm not Magamu, I'm not Tactical Potato, I'm not here to talk to any here about what the best build is, because that's a waste of damn time. But I am here to tell you what's good and what's bad and what you should be doing in order to get the best out of this game. So, let's talk about Chroma. Chroma pisses me off to no end. Like, holy crap. Holy actual crap. Like, you'd think the dragon frame would be dope. No, no, it's like one of the worst Warframes they've got. And I might be doing something wrong. I'm going to leave this up to interpretation. I might be doing something wrong. Personally, I don't know if I put in enough time for Chroma to really understand, like, his base mechanics and everything, like, Vex Armor, I have no idea what the hell that does. Spectral Screen is good, but it makes him move really slow and it leaves him really vulnerable. Effigy drains the energy like a mob fucker, so it's almost unusable, but, I don't know, I mean, they're reworking him, and it's like, if he was good to begin with, he wouldn't need a rework. So, obviously, I've got some kind of credence here. And I checked the Warframe Builder. I checked the Warframe Builder. Like, if I don't know how to do a build for a Warframe, I'll go check WarframeBuilder.com, see if I can get any ideas. Check Warframe Builder. 90% of all the Chroma builds on there have about three formas, four formas, six formas. And I'm just like, damn, this frame must. So if he needs this many formas in order to be viable in PvP. So, Chrome is a big old bag of ass. Now you might be thinking, oh, well, maybe just by using the right, you probably just don't have the right bob. Oh, you fuck you, dude. Chrome is my favorite frame. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, I probably don't. Shit, I don't even have Prime Flow, Prime Continuity, Prime Pressure, Prime Prime Reach, Prime Fury. I don't have any of that. I can get it. I just don't have it. My issue is, is that... I can pretty much make a decent build, like a legitimate usable build, with just about anything. Like, throw on continuity, stretch, intensify, streamline, done. Like, that's really all you really need for a basic build for any frame. Throw that on the Chroma, and it's just... God. Awful. Like, there's just no synergy whatsoever. And on top of that, he seems really, really weak, like, armor-wise. And I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on with that, because it's like... He's supposed to be really tanky and big. I mean, you think the armor would be better, but it's just not garbage. Like, holy crap, dude. Why are you so bad? I don't get it. I don't get it. But, uh, I guess there's nothing really I can do about it. I got him maxed out. I'm going to wait for that rework. If you guys have a suggestion for a build, please, for the love of God, let me know. Because I just can't. I just can't deal with this thing. It's just so bad. It's so bad. But enough of the negativity, let's talk about an actually good frame. Banshee and Banshee Prime, who just came out today, or if you're reading or listening to this in the future, she came out February 28th, 2017, and it is quite possibly the greatest day for Warframe in Warframe history. Because Banshee Prime and Banshee are the some of the strongest Warframes in the game, and you might not know about this, and you might. And if you do know about this, you probably know where I'm gonna go with this. That's right, I'm talking about Resonating Quake. <clears throat> now this build is not difficult. Like, I made it on my Banshee, it's one forma, really simple. Uh, all you need is like the two dash line uh, polarity slot. I'll put an annotation up trying to explain what that is. I can't remember what the name of it is off the top of my head right now. But um, that's all you really need for it. You get Resonating Quake from uh, Cephalon Suda or I think Arbiters of Hexus, Arbiters of Hexus, whatever you want to pronounce that with. Get it from one of the syndicates or just buy it off the market if you can't do that. Get Resonating Quake, Continuity, Stretch, Overextended, Cunning Drift. Uh, plug Cunning Drift in an Exilus mod slot, get Flow, Redirection, Vitality. Slap it on there, boom, Resonating Quake build. Take that to any defense mission, swear to God, you can stay there for a lifetime. Bring energy, resupplies, because you will lose it very fast. But, good God, Resonating Quake does so much damage. I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you, right here. Here's a perfect example, doing a defense mission on Saturn, level 21 to 25, my Banshee Prime, obviously not that high of a level, as you can see it right there. Also, 
uh, I'm trying to do a little bit of a challenge. I want to get four Banshees or Banshee Primes together and go for a world record on a Void Defense mission and see if we can't just resonate and break the whole thing. But we can talk about that later. The next point I want to talk about, Euphona Prime. This gun, good god, this gun, the stats on it are like, holy hell. It does more damage than my Dread. My Dread has five formas on it. I, that thing is my baby. But the Euphona almost like doubles its damage. The Euphona does like, I want to say like 3,000 damage impact just off base. And the like Orange Strike on there just like popped a boner. Right? It's ridiculous. Now I threw concussion rounds on there. I'm hitting about 4,000 damage per shot. That's ridiculous. Not to mention the critical chance is at a base 30. So you can potentially red crit with this thing if you had the right build on it. So that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to try to get a red crit build for Euphona going. As soon as I've got that down, I will release a video on it explaining how I did it and explaining the usability behind it. It's going to be lit, promise. But weapon's pretty good so far. The secondary fire, fall off damage on the uh, pellets is pretty significant, pretty noticeable. Um, I tend to use the uh, primary fire just because it's a lot better. The accuracy is perfect, but the one thing I did notice is that the weapon is not hit scan. There is a little bit of fall off for the primary fire shot. Um, it will arc and you'll kind of have to lead it if you're trying to do a long range shot. But this is definitely more of a close range weapon, so I try to get him into range and then shoot him either with the pellets or the uh, primary shot. And the pellets are definitely good for taking out uh, stuff like Ospreys or Mutilus Ospreys. Just things that see in the air, really tiny enemies. Perfect for that, especially if they're in like large clumps. You can take out a couple of them at a time. And the damage is just phenomenal. Uh, the last thing I'd like to talk about today is bugs. Bugs in Warframe. So, my roommate, uh, Green Guy 57 or the Aftershock 57 if you're on Xbox One, add him, he's pretty lit. Uh, he has been playing Warframe for about a month now. I got him into it after raving about it for the longest time. Finally got him into it and he's been playing it for a month now. He's got a bolt and a mag and he got himself up to Ceres. And I don't know how many people out there know this, but there is a bug on Ceres. Uh, going into the Jupiter Junction regarding the prosecutor requirement and it says you had to kill one prosecutor, I think Yeah, I think it's just one. You had to kill one prosecutor and then you're done. However, the problem is When you kill a prosecutor, it does not count for the requirement and so people cannot progress a step in their roommate And he's very frustrated about it and I'm frustrated for him because I want him to be to be able to experience the game like I am because I love Warframe, it's fantastic. And I've never really had any game-breaking problems like this. So for him to go through this and me not be able to offer a suggestion or some kind of way for him to like actually enjoy the game, it's heartbreaking to me because I'm the one who got him into it in the first place. So in response to this, I tweeted this out to Digital Extremes and Rebecca Ford, and then I did it again, and then I did it again. Third time, I got a response from Rebecca saying that there would be a fix out in the next hot fix, to which I replied that I love her so much because she's great. Everybody on Digital Extremes is great. And I know that they're hard at work trying to get us the best content possible. And I really don't like having to gripe about these kinds of things because I know game design is hard. I mean, that's what I'm in school for right now. I know how difficult the process is. And when you try to make it for an MMO, it just takes that difficulty and ramps it up like a fuck ton. So I understand the difficulties here. But I also know that Tiny things like this, like this used to be a problem with Lephantis and the Aeris Junction, but they fixed that and I don't know why they couldn't have just done that with the uh, Jupiter Junction as well, like I'm really not sure what the hell happened there, but hopefully it'll be fixed fairly soon so our roommate can get back into it and we can just talk about Warframe like he talks about Destiny. <coughs> Shit clone. Anyway, uh, leading out, out of that is uh, the next thing I want to talk about which is kind of just the Warframe community as a whole. Now, I've played MMO after MMO after MMO. I've played Maple Story, Dungeon Fighter, Final Fantasy XIV, Final Fantasy XI, Fantasy Star Online 1 and 2, uh, Destiny, if you want to count that, uh, Neverwinter, Elder Scrolls Online, like I've played a bunch. I'm kind of a collector in a way. And never have I ever played an MMO or a game just in general that has a community so close-knit and tight as this. The closest one to that 
would probably have to be the Dark Souls and Bloodborne community, just because people are constantly helping other people and they're really nice about it. Unless you get into PvP, some invader who's being a complete asshole, which happens in every game, don't get me wrong. But Warframe's community is really, really strong, really, really close-knit, and really, really together, and I really appreciate that. And I'd love to see that continue and make it in just a really open environment for all new players of all different kinds. Like, uh, the additional improvements that they've made to, like, the star chart and getting Arkling available in the new quest that they've been doing and just progression has become a lot more viable for new players. And I think that's great. I think what DE is doing with the game is phenomenal. And I really want to see more of this happen. Like, I know the game is still being actively worked on. I know the whole focus thing still needs a hell of a lot of work. I'm not even sure <laughs> how that works entirely, but I think what DE is doing with Warframe is fantastic and I would love to see this continue. So keep being Tenno Tenno. Keep doing what you're doing. Fight a good fight. Go get yourself a Banshee Prime because god damn she looks great. And resonating quake builds are the most broken thing I have ever seen. DE, please don't patch it like you did to my baby Nova, because that was a sad day. But that's all I gotta say. I will see you guys.